ITV News Central, good afternoon. Road safety campaigners have condemned two drivers who appeared to bring their vans together on the motorway to pass a drink between the vehicles. It was caught on a dashboard camera filmed by a motorist travelling behind along the M5 near Hale Zone in September. Police say they're examining the footage to see if any offences have been committed and that they'll be contacting the drivers. Almost 50 people, mainly school children, have been treated by ambulance crews after the school bus they were travelling in overturned down an embankment. It happened just after 20 past 8 this morning on Home Lacey Road in Hereford. The female driver and 25 passengers, who are believed to be around 14 years old, were taken to hospital for treatment for cuts and bruises. Police investigating a hit-and-run in Coventry that left a child in hospital have narrowed down their search for the car involved. The crash happened on Chevrolet Avenue in Radford on the evening of Monday the 20th of October. Officers believe the car to be a silver or grey, old-shaped Vauxhall Astra and it would have had front-end damage. The injured 11-year-old is now recovering at home. Around 300 people are attending the first ever event in Wolverhampton to discuss ways to tackle the growing issue of obesity. More than two-thirds of people in the city are either obese or overweight. The City Council says the summit is the first step in its efforts to reduce the problem. The designer behind the Tower of London Poppy installation has welcomed the decision to keep it in place for longer. Nearly 900,000 ceramic poppies were created by artist Paul Cummins at his factory in Pride Park in Derby. The final poppy of the display is being added tomorrow. The baker from Warsaw has won a gold award at a national baking competition for creating a life-size model of a Hollywood actress out of cake. Lara Clark took more than four months to make the model of Jennifer Lawrence and, or Jennifer Lawrence and beat competition from a thousand other entries. She used 150 eggs to make the chocolate and vanilla sponge. They are made um, shoulder to toes from cake, but obviously because it's been four months in the making, you wouldn't really want to be biting into it. I think what we're going to do is we're going to take it apart, take the cake to, you know, a forest, put it out, and then, you know, at least animals or something's going to get a benefit from having a bit of cake or something. Very good too. Let's have a look at the weather forecast. Here's Lucy Kite. Wishing you a warm winter. Gas Central Heating from Northern Gas Heating. Sponsors the ITV Local Weather. Hello, well your brolly will come in very useful over the next few days, particularly over the next 36 hours or so. We've got rain moving in our direction as we speak. Through this evening it will make its way north and eastwards, bringing with it some heavy persistent downpours. It'll clear away tomorrow and then make a comeback tomorrow night. So rain on and off as we head through the next couple of days. Thursday looking like your best day of the week. For this afternoon though, in daylight hours, we are going to see some bright spells before that rain rolls in from around 8 or 9 o'clock. We'll keep you posted on that. Gas Central Heating from Northern Gas Heating sponsors the ITV Local Weather. That's it for the moment. I hope you can join us at 6. Have a good afternoon. Bye-bye.